Uh, we're now in the kitchen for a spot of baking with Leon. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, right, so cake time. Mm -hmm. OK, so if there's one thing I think we're really good in this country, it's drizzle <laughs> and the British yes. summertime especially. So let's reclaim the drizzle and make it more delicious and bring it into the house. So first thing we're going to do is this. You get your butter, your sugar, and we're going to cream that together. But then you're going to use my Nana Pearl's great tip from the West Country. So this, to get a really lemony sponge, we're going to put in the lemon zest. Yeah. So that's going to, as it creams together, as we cream this, the natural oils from the lemons zest is going to come out and make a more lemony sponge. So, as with any cake batter, the thing to always bear in mind is the lighter in colour you cream this for, basically the lighter and fluffier the cake's going to be. If you like it a bit denser, you can add your eggs in now. And for the sake of expediency, Ew. I shall do just that. If I knew what that mean, I'd be, it means I'd be impressed. <laughs> uh, and so then what we do is this, just one egg at a time, and like with any cake batter, the reason to do this is just um, so that you kind of don't curdle the mixture. You don't want that. No, you don't want any curdle. curdling, no. So the eggs go in one at a time, mixing round. And your grandma taught you to make this cake. My granny did, yeah. It was her favourite. So we're kind of doing a couple of little Cornish twists on it. The other one being, at this stage, once you've combined all the eggs together really well, you're going to put in some clotted cream, because oh. I'm from the West Country. Can I just taste Santa a bit Bell. before it goes in? Before yes, yes, please yes, do. Because I can't resist clotted cream. Mm. Now, mm. this will give you a slightly denser cake. If you wanted something lighter and fluffier, because everyone's got their own particular taste, just a little splash of milk will work just as good. So oh, you combine that in here, and then Nana Pearl's other little great tip. Is Nana Pearl still alive? Uh, she's watching from upstairs. Oh, hello, hello, Nana Pearl. Hi, Nana. But thank you for your lovely cake recipe. Exactly, yeah, she lives on yeah. through her cakes. So what we're going to do now is this. We've got some self-raising flour. No need to have baking powder in this recipe because it's just going to work mm -hmm. fine. And we're taking out some of the flour you'd have in a normal sponge recipe and putting in some ground almonds. Now, the reason we're doing this is the sweetness and the kind of creaminess of the almonds is going to work wonderfully and play together with the sharpness of the lemons. Does it give it a different texture, a bit like polenta does? You know, that slightly... Yeah, it, exactly. So it's going to be granuly. less of a kind of sponge, yeah. more of a, a sort of, um, yeah, granularly kind of uh, texture in there. And then also mainly because of the sweetness of the nuts, you're kind of getting a bit sweet and sour, a bit like Michelle on Coronation <gasps> Street. She needs a mouthful of Steve, who's yes. very sweet. Yeah. And then more than a mouthful of me, that's a little bit sour. It's very, that's going to make it very yeah. sour. Is Between gonna... the two of us, we're the perfect man. Is he going to find out about the kiss? I hope so. <laughs> which means you go back. That's yeah, well, it means, uh, it means uh, we could get into a bit of fisticuffs, perhaps, <gasps> which would be fun. A fight? It? Yeah, I'd like that. Oh, we love a fight on Corrie. So what you want to do as well, when you just combine your flour and your almonds in, you're going to do that very gently so you keep as much of the air in the batter as possible. Are you paying attention, darling? I am paying Making total this. attention, darling. Do you know, just... Eamon's claim to fame is that Catherine Jenkins once made, she claims, I could um, see he was in a some lemon sort of... drizzle. I could see he was in some sort of reverie yeah. because, you know, Didn't I've never known Eamon to be this quiet do, normally. Do you have any showbiz friends yourself? <laughs> Only Leon. Yeah, see? <laughs> well, you, get, you get Leon's cake. I tease him. I said, she probably just got it from the supermarket, put she a bit of so ice and didn't. sugar on the top. Whereas I'm coming round to yours when Eamon's out exactly. and making it for you. Exactly, we do that at home. So then what we're going to do is once we've transferred it into the loaf tin, we're going to put it into the oven. You don't have to smooth the top of that. No, okay. you're just going to put it there because it's going to spread as it cooks. Okay. 160 in a conventional oven, 180 in a fan oven. For approximately 50 to 55 minutes, you're going to want to check it with a skewer. And once you stab it and it comes out clean, it means it's cooked, cooked. and ready to come out. Now, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> you're so clever. And the other little key to it, this is like a very traditional lemon drizzle cake. And so while it comes out of the oven and it's still warm, you're going to get your skewer that you've checked with yeah. and you're going to make several holes all over it. Piece like this. Ruth, if you're making it, perhaps imagine it's Catherine. <laughs> I'm just giving it a nice I love Catherine. For me, I'm, obviously, I'm thinking of Steve. <laughs> or Steve. Yeah, and that's gone. So then the drizzle, right? A really traditional drizzle, which is my personal favourite. It's just we're going to take some demerara sugar, lemon juice, a little bit more of the lemon zest, combine that round here. And then while the cake is still warm and in the tin... That helps it all sink through. Yeah, it's all going to sink through yeah. and make a lovely moist cake. So then you just generously splash That's that all over. That's the drizzle bit, folks. That's the drizzle, and you just smooth that over and let that sink in as it cools. Okay. 
Okay. And then you're going to turn that out after about an hour. And you'll have a lovely lemon drizzle cake. Do you do frosting or anything on yours? Interesting you talk about the different types of drizzle. There is lots huh? of drizzle debate. If you've got a the bit more time... The big drizzle debate. Yeah, the big drizzle debate. Oh, blimey. That's if you've got drizzle. a bit more time, we've used what's here is known as a bunt tin. A bunt tin. Which gives it this wonderful kind of shape. Yeah. With yeah. a hole in the middle. And um, in terms of what you can do... Now, my wife's favourite sort of lemon drizzle is just easy, really simple. It's just lemon juice and icing sugar, yeah. which you can see I've put over there. Now, mm. if you wanted to do something a little bit more decadent, maybe make a filling for your loaf, yeah. is um, I've used some clotted cream and some lemon curd here <gasps> combined. Oh, and you that can kind of put nice. that on top. Clotted you... cream with okay. lemon curd. If you're curd. finding it difficult to follow all of that... I'm not. Here's the recap. Cream the butter, cast the sugar and lemon zest together really well. The lighter in colour, the fluffier the end sponge. Crack in the eggs one by one and a tablespoon of clotted cream or a dash of milk and combine well. Gently fold in the flour and the almonds, keeping as much air in the batter as possible. Pour the mixture into the cake or loaf tin and bake in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 50 minutes. While the cake is still warm, make the drizzle topping. Mix together the sugar, lemon juice and zest. Pierce the sponge with a skewer and pour the syrup over the top. Serve the cake with a piping hot pot of tea. Well, I bet you that's got you in the mood for something nice at tea time. Leon, thank you very well, much I'm indeed. putting your clotted cream and lemon curd drizzle oh, on, straight onto the cake. Mm -hmm. Is that allowed? Yeah, you could take two slices, make yourself a lovely little lemon drizzle sandwich, perhaps. OK. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm.